What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now today, we've already got the fourth IPL match of the season. Uh, LSG, the two new teams, the new franchises into the league. It's an exciting way to get these two franchises started off. Goes down to the last over. We see some great bowling, some great hitting. Both these teams really impressed me and I had both of them on my power rankings, well my table uh, prediction video a few days, well, before the season started. I had them both kind of around the same area because you look at both of their teams and they look really good, but when new franchises, you just never know how they're going to go. So it's a pretty good showing out for the first time the two new teams play. Um, but hey, if you guys are new, subscribe. If you want daily IPL reviews, subscribe. If you like cricket, subscribe because we're, we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to get straight into the review. There's a lot to talk about with this game. There was a lot of exciting stuff, so let's get straight into it. Let's get player of the match, the man, Muhammad Shami. <laughs> of course, old Punjab Kings boy, so I've got to support him. But, gee, he bowled very well. Took took first ball, gets out Kaul Rahul, then got out Manish Pandey, and I think he got out uh, Quinton de Kock as well. So, he, I mean, he took arguably the three biggest wickets of the LSG team, and they end up getting the win. It was a great, great bowl, uh, spell of bowling. But here we go, Super LSG into bat first. Let's go through the 11s uh, just quickly because they're new, and we can see, you know, what's sort of their strongest 11 at this point. So, of course, the new captain, Rahul, uh, De Kock, Evan Lewis at three, Pandy at four, the man Deepak Hooter at five, uh, Ayash Badoni at six, I can't count. Wait, three, four, five. At six, Krunal Pandya. Um, at seven, Dust Martha, Chamira, Avesh Khan, Machine Khan, or Moshin Khan, whoever, or Mohsin Khan. Let's say it's that. And the man, Bish, the Bishnoi. Uh, and for the Gujarat Titans, there at 11 was... All right, I was just checking my, my phone. I've got a notification. All right, the, <laughs> the Gujarat Titans one. Shutman Gill, you got the man, Matty Wade at the top of the order. Sh Vijay Shankar. Of course, the captain, Hardik Pandya. You've got David Miller, Rahul Tawatiya, um, Abhinav Mo Manoha. Let's say it's that. Rashid Khan, Lockie Ferguson, Muhammad Shami, and Aaron Varun, or Varun Aaron, sorry. It sounds weird. It sounds like his name should be around the other way. It should be Aaron Varun, not Varun Aaron, but I don't know. Can you trust someone with two first names? <sighs> Probably not. Um, all right, <laughs> let's just jump straight into the scorecard. Now let's get into the review. All right, LSG into bat first. Kyle Rahul and Quinton de Kock. That's one of the most dangerous opening pairs in the whole competition. And they did not start off well. Kyle Rahul gone first ball. The umpire didn't even get get English. The umpire didn't even give it out when it took about this much a chunk off a bat from Rahul. Poor umpire. All right, but firstly, you know Rahul, not the way you would have liked to start, but just incredible bowling. Um, by Muhammad Shami, just fast, did a little bit of nip late, and Rahul just stuck his bat out and edged it straight, straight to the man, Matty Wade, for the first wicket. Quentin de Kock, then just a few balls later, gets bowled by Shami. So Shami takes the opening partnership. They're under pressure straight away. Evan Lewis comes out, 10 off 9. Again, just got nothing from their top four. Manish Pandey then got bowled by uh, Muhammad Shami as well. It was a he just bowled incredibly well. Shami, it's the best we've seen him bowl in T20 cricket for a while. Because he honestly didn't... He took a lot of wickets for the Punjab Kings last season, but he wasn't exactly amazing. I thought at times he was pretty expensive in those slow, you know, UAE pitches. But he's come back here. He's on home soil. He looks a lot, lot better when there's conditions that suit him a lot more. Um, yeah, he bowled it, uh, fantastic. The man, Deepak Huda. Another former Punjab King, 55 off 41. Just some great batting. Just some of the shots he played looked like prime AB de Villiers. He got on one knee and he just spanked it straight over the bowler's head. And I'm thinking, is this Deepak Huda or fucking AB de Villiers? Like, who is this guy? What are you doing, Deepak? You, you're on, like, you're going to get drug tested after this game. 55 off 41, six fours, two sixes. Um, and then went out absolutely plumb to Rashid Khan. Uh, the umpire didn't even give that one out either. And then they had to review it again. It was hitting the middle of middle stump. So, gee, I don't know what sort of bath salts the umpire was on, but he, ne he needs to get off him. Um, Ayush Badoni, who also came out, and I, I believe this was his debut. 
was he a part of the under-19 Indian World Cup team? Because I actually haven't heard of him until this game. 54 or 41, he, he hit some beautiful uh, strikes. So, hey, I'm going to watch out for him. And to see him batting all the way down at, what's this, 6? Three, four, five, six. Batting at six, I mean, they bat pretty deep, considering they can go all the way down to... Essentially, Avesh Khan can bat, but Chamir is their last known all-rounder in this team. So, they bat pretty deep luck now, which is probably lucky that they bat deep, because if there was no one after Huda and Badoni, they were going to go on and make 120, and it would have been a boring game. But, you know, thank God, the man Deepak Huda. Who would have thought Deepak Huda, the saviour... I mean, it saved them from not being embarrassed, but they still lost. All right, the bowling from the from the Titans, Muhammad Shami. Um, again, as we spoke about, three for twenty-five off four. Again, another clap, another little clap for the man Shami. Varun Aaron, two for forty-five off four. He bowled pretty pretty well, just a little bit expensive. Lockie Ferguson, none for twenty-four off four. He was really good. Um, he's bowling as quick as ever, and. He's, he'd be a good shout, I think, for the purple cap. I mean, he didn't take a wicket, obviously, but he looked really, really good. So he's one that I think could have a, like a just a massive breakout tournament. Um, obviously, he's already on the, you know... Is, is Lockie Ferguson on a superstar level yet? I mean, no. Nah. He, could, he could be a superstar in a year and be one of the most expensive picks in the IPL. But... Just his consistency with line and length. He seems to bowl so many short deliveries that, like, if he just can bowl a little bit fuller, he'll probably go on and take two wickets a game. So, uh, but he did look really, really good. Hardik Pandya, the captain, bowled four overs. I mean, it's amazing to see the man Hardik Pandya bowling again. Um, he looked like, well, I was going to say old Hardik Pandya, but old Hardik Pandya would have bowled better than this. None for 37 or 4. Uh, you could tell he had a bit of rust on him. He hasn't bowled in a, in a match like this for a long time, so he didn't bowl too well. <laughs> but, hey, Hardy Pandya, we love him. Uh, we want him to do well, so I'll give you a break. But if you if you give me this shit in the next game, Hardy, we're going to have to be on your head. We're going to have to be on your head, Hardy. I can't defend you every game. Uh, Rashid Khan, the man, one for 27 of four. He was my, I think, vice captain in my fantasy team. I guess I'll take that one. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, it, it's it's meh. It's pretty meh, but I'll take it. Hey, into the Gujarat Titans. They had to chase 159 for the win, and they did it with two deliveries to remain. They they left, left it to the last, last minute. Shutman Gill and Matty Wade opening partnership. Gill goes for a duck. So it's good to see Shutman Gill following in Kale Rahul's Footsteps, that's always lovely to see. Uh, Matty Wade in, obviously, opening. I'm so happy for Wadey. He deserves it, um, you know, as much as anyone. He's worked so hard on his, you know, shorter form batting to get this opportunity. He's spoken about how much he'd love to play IPL again, and he's back in there. And he's just as passionate as a cricketer that you could want on a team. All he wants to do is win. So, you know, they've got themselves a great one here. The Titans, he made 30 off 29. Um, four fours, which is a pretty good start. I mean, it's better than what Shutman Gill did. It's better than what Rahul did. So, in that theory, Matthew Wade's better than Kale Rahul and Shutman Gill. I don't make the rules up. Um, VJ Shankar bowled by Chimera for four. Not great. Hardik Pandya, again, you know, in the runs as well. I mean, he went for more runs off the ball than he did make with the bat, but that's okay. Uh, 33 off 28, five fours, one six. Again, he looked pretty good. It looked, again, like that old Hardik Pandya sort of stroke. He played he played this one beautiful, like, hook shot that just reminded me, like, that's Hardik Pandya, and that's what he can do. He hit about three boundaries in a row, and I thought, this is what he does. He comes in at, well, he, bat, he batted four here, but in the international team, he would come in at, like, five, six, and he would just, you know, destroy anything that was left short. If you did not bowl full, to Hardik Pandya, you're going to get put over the rope. And that's what he did. Um, until Krunal Pandya got him out. The first time Krunal Pandya has bowled to Hardik, I believe, like in a, in the IPL. And got him out. Um, yeah, you can't be going out by your brother. One, you're never going to hear the end of it. And two, how do you go out to Krunal Pandya? You're just... Krunal bowls to me. It's going straight over his head. And I'm saying, go and fetch, little boy. Go and fetch. 
I'll let that out. Um, David Miller, his first game, obviously, with the Titans. 30 of 21. He was pretty good. Um, but if I was, I guess, the if I made the 11 for this team, I would have Shankar. Well, here's what I will do. So, opening partnership. And then I would put David Miller at three. Or Tawatia at three. Um... Because I don't think Shankar really needs to bat at three. I don't think he's... Like, yes, he's a very capable batsman. And he's had some great knocks in his career. But is Vijay Shankar the guy you really want at number three? Number three is meant to be the most important position in cricket. Like, batting lineup. That's why you always put, normally, your best batsman at three. Coley, Labashain. Uh, I don't know why I said Labashain because test cricket. But you guys understand what I mean. You're meant to have someone at three who you can rely on the most and you think is going to play the best innings. Is Shade Gar the guy you really want at three? I think they'll change that for the next one. Hardy, wait, no, I'm up to David Miller. David Miller, 30 off 21. No, I did that as well. He, yeah, batted really well, except he went out. Um, and then Rahul Tawatia and Abhinav Manohar. I'll get your name right soon, my, uh, mate. To what Tia? They batted incredibly well. Just both came out, smacked everything. To what Tia? Is this the best time he's, like, the best batting innings of his goddamn career? I mean, he just came out here at what? Number seven, you're under pressure. Number six, and just put everything over the rope. Five fours, two sixes. And then this Manahar guy, 15 off seven, three fours, 214 strike rate. They just absolutely creamed them in the end. And if it wasn't for those two... Luck now go on to win with about, well, not with any delivery spare, but they would have gone on to win LSG if it wasn't for Tawatea um, and Abanav. So, you know, that's, hey, great batting. You know, I've never thought of Tawatea as this, you know, finishing superstar, but what he proved to me is that I guess he can do that job. I mean, you do it once, why not do it? <laughs> why not leave him there and see if he can do it again? Um, yeah, just some great late hitting which seemed for a pretty entertaining match at the end. Let's get into the bowlers, though, for LSG. Dismartha Chamira um, opened up the bowling. Only bowled three overs, which I thought was pretty weird. But, yeah, especially considering Chamira was probably close to their best bowler. Um, it's weird not to see him get a fourth. But, hey, uh, I, you know, Rahul knows what he's doing more than me. Two for 22 off three. Avesh Khan, of course, who is just... A, almost a soup like I don't even care that he is an uncapped bowler he is good he is really good one for 33 off 3.4 well maybe that isn't great but you know still does Masin Khan none for 18 off 2 the man Bishnoi none for 34 off 4 uh, Krunal Pandya was probably uh, LSG's best bowler one for 17 off 4 I mean Krunal are you alright Krunal this is unlike you to bowl well. This is very unlike Colonel Pandia to actually bowl well. Someone ask him if he's okay because he bowled very well. And I'm worried that Colonel is not all right. Don't know how he did that. But someone's got to test him for some sort of steroids or anything. Not on my watch. Will you do this, Colonel? Um, and then the next bowler, Deepak Huda, one for 31 off three. Look, a lot of spin, um, you know, with you know, Bishnoi, Deepak Huda, and Colonel Pandya. The pitch was pretty slow, um, especially in that second inning. So, I, I mean, spin probably cost them in the end because they brought on Deepak Huda and they absolutely went to town. They hit about 22 runs off one of Deepak Huda's, la off, off Deepak's last over. He got put for about 22, which in the end kind of lost them the game. So, you know, Huda was great with the bat. Don't give him the ball for three overs ever again, Rahul. I'm telling you right now. I mean, they are obviously old teammates at Punjab Kings, so I'm sure he knows, you know, when to bowl him and when to not. But three overs for Deepak Huda is a lot, especially in a game where it's in the crunch time and you need wickets and you bring on Deepak Huda, a, a part-timer. I mean, not a part-timer, but I wouldn't call him a superstar bowler by any means. So, hey, that will cap it off. The Titans win the very first battle of the new franchises. I also just want to say that the new jerseys look phenomenal out there. LSG's jersey, I mean, I love it. I think it looks so, so good. The Titans one, I think, looks pretty good as well. And I love the mixture, like, of the blues. You know, they've got the Titans where they've got these light blue but dark blue, like, sleeves and 
lightning bolts. And then you've got LSG with this funky blue green jersey with orange on it. I, I, I love both of them. I think they look really, really good. And I'm actually coming around to both of these logos. I remember when these first were announced and I looked at them and I thought, this is just a joke. Like, what is this shit? But I'm actually, I'm kind of looking at them and I'm like, I can see these franchises lasting forever in the IPL. They look, the jerseys look really cool and I'm liking them. So, hey, a good first show out for the new teams. Um, hopefully, Kyle Rahul and Gil can do something in the next two games or the next game at least. So, hey, let me know if you guys are a fan of the new franchises, like you have changed your franchise to support one of these new ones. Tell me in the comments. I want to see how many people out there who watch my videos are new LSG or Gujarat Titan fans. I want to see um, out there. But hey, that is going to cap it off, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.